I'm no stranger to a new office setup and this time I think, I think I'm very nearly got it exactly how I want it. So I thought I'd make a quick little video of this YouTube studio bedroom tour thing, whatever you want to call it. And hopefully by doing that, it will give you a few ideas of something that you might want to include in your own setup as well. It's taken me years to get to a setup that I am as happy with as I am with this one. And I think it's the experience of making mistakes that you start to learn what works and doesn't work for you in your own studio space. But I think an office or studio needs to be as inspiring for you as it possibly can be because you spend a lot of time in here. I make all of my YouTube videos in here, I sit here and edit, I also do all of my work from home as well and I sit there and work. So it needs to be a place that I enjoy spending a lot of time in. But at the same time as well as looking good and being an inspiring place to be in, it needs to be fully practical as well, it can't just look good, it needs to work. So we'll start with my little desk setup, which is my main filming angle pointing towards this wall that I'll show you in a second. So that is where I was speaking to you from before. Set up on a tripod there, I have the Lumix S5. I have a microphone boomed above it, which is the Rode NTG4 Plus, and that just goes straight into my camera. And then I've just got a cheap IKEA desk, which cost about 20 quid, and that just stays set up there all of the time so as soon as I want to I can just hit record on my camera I'm recording audio straight away because it's just going straight into my camera with an XLR to 3.5 millimeter cable and it is as easy as that to just sit down and hit record and having a permanent setup like that with a light ready to go just saves so much time you've not got to worry about getting your camera getting your microphone getting your lights set up because it's already done, waiting and ready to go. Set up in the corner here, I have this little shelf from Amazon and I just use this as a bit of a storage shelf and something that looks good. So I've got a lamp that I use when I'm working at my computer and it also acts as a bit of a backlight for when I'm filming Talking Head from the angle I've already mentioned. We also have on here my Lego Porsche, which I absolutely love. I don't particularly like cars, I'm not into them at all, but I love doing Lego and I've got a Lego space station as well because I'm a geek, I like that stuff. And down here, this is just a bit more storagey stuff, so I've got my granddad's old film camera, a few filters and little bits and bobs that I can just grab as and when if I need to. Right, it's got very dark very quickly since I started filming this video. It wasn't dark half an hour ago, but anyway, on this side of the room, on this wall, I have covering this window a big blind and that is for a couple of reasons. One is because when I'm filming from my main filming angle, in the afternoon the sun comes round that side of the house and shines straight through the window and it makes it really hard to control the lighting. By having this big blackout blind it means that I can just block all of the light out of the room and have full control over everything I'm lighting with my main key light and also the two lamps that I've got set up either side of my desk as well. That just makes filming videos so much easier because I've not got to keep changing the exposure because the sun has come out from behind a cloud and changed the whole lighting scene. What it also means is I've got quite a cool backdrop for some things sometimes if I want. Something like this. So I could bring the blind down Bring out the plan, do something like this. One sec, bit of faffing around. Maybe that looks quite cool as a bit of a different film angle. If I wanted to just light the back of me, I could maybe move that light around and just light the back. That might look quite cool sometimes if I wanted to make something a little bit more serious, I guess. So yeah, good to have something like that. I can also use that for different thumbnails and photos and backdrops for whatever I want. 30 quid from Ikea. Bargain. One thing I realised I missed from my filming angle setup was this, which is a little swivel arm which I can pull out if I want to, just like that. Attach a camera to this little ball head and create a top-down shot 
nice and easily while I'm filming, which is really nice. It's a nice extra angle to have for some B-roll. I can use it for some, I don't know, lay down, what's it called? Lay down photography? Flat lay photography. Uh, so that's a really nice little thing to have and it just hides away out of the way when I'm not using it. And then we're on to the main wall, which is the bit that I wanted to just look and feel inspiring. The landlords of this house were really good and they let us paint a wall in each room, which is more than we could do in our last room. So I wanted to paint this a nice dark colour, just because I like I like dark colour schemes. It's a bit of a shame that it's covered in like flowery wallpaper. So it's got like a really weird texture to it, but it looks okay. It looks good on camera. You can't tell from that main filming angle. I think it looks good. And then I've got this little shelf from Ikea, which I've filled with some little plants and little greenery bits. I just, I like greenery and texture. And I've put in some fairy lights, some more fairy lights in the bottle there, and stuck a load of prints up with a few nice quotes, be a nice human, and uh, always room for a Noel Gallagher quote or lyric, whatever you want to call it. But um, yeah, I like I like this wall, it just looks good to me and that's what makes it feel like an inspiring place to be in along with all of the different greenery and textures. And then we come on to my main desk setup itself, which is where I spend all of my time editing. And this hasn't actually changed that much from my old one. It's the same IKEA desk and drawer setup. The only thing is I've painted these because they were a horrible bluey color and I've painted them black because they look cool. I've still got the MacBook Pro 14 inch, the same monitor, the same speakers. The only thing that's changed is I've got a few desk accessories which have been very kindly sent to me from Grove Made, and that is this desk shelf. I've also got this cool little MagSafe charger, desk pad, the wrist pad, and a few coasters. These accessories from Grove Made not only help to make the setup look really cool, but this shelf in particular has actually helped me quite a lot, and I would definitely recommend raising your monitor even higher because I've got back into playing cricket this year recently and I've been suffering with a little bit of a bad back and raising my monitor has meant that I've not been spending as much time at my desk slouching over, bending my neck, bending my back. It's meant that I'm sitting up straight looking directly at the monitor and it has been a massive help for that and I probably should have bought one even sooner. So massive thank you to Grove Made for sending me these. They did very kindly send me them for free but they are also offering 10% discount at the code. At the code? They are also offering a 10% discount in the store using the code SCOTT10. I will leave the link in the description. Go and check them out if you want to. Thanks Grove Made. And finally, the last part of this room is this wall over here, which is a bit of a work in progress at the moment, but I have plans to fill this entire wall with all of my favourite photos that I have ever taken. At the moment, I've only got three up, but this is going to fill up over time. This is one of my favourite photos I've ever taken of Jimmy Anderson, the cricketer. You can actually see that photo on his Instagram account, which is quite cool and there's a long story behind that. Um, I might make a video about that one day, but um, that's my favorite photo I've ever taken. And the others are quite cool as well, but that wall is gonna be filled with all of my favorite photos over time. I like it. So yeah, that is my new and current YouTube studio tour bedroom setup. It's a spare bedroom in the house, which I've turned into a YouTube, studio. call it what you will. It's a YouTube studio to me, it's an office or whatever, it doesn't matter. It's it's a cool space that I enjoy spending time in and being creative in. And that is, as I mentioned before, having somewhere that you want to be creative in and want to spend time in is super important. And this is the first time that I've had something like that that is entirely dedicated to this. It's not got to be anything else. It's not got wardrobes in it. and it's just a space to be creative in and that is I love that it's the first time I've ever actually had that so I'm really looking forward to spending more time in here and making videos in here there's still a few little bits to do like I need to sort out my charging situation on the whole I'm very very happy with it and I love it I spend most of my time in here at the moment and I'm not even mad about that so uh, yeah that is that is the setup. I love it. And 
It's only going to continue to get better as well. So um, yeah, let me know about your YouTube studio setups. Are you thinking of building a new one? Hopefully this has given you a few ideas to be able to put into your own setup. So yeah, that's it for this video. Um, hopefully there won't be any more YouTube studio tours on this channel for quite a while because I think I've, for me, I've nailed it with this one. There's not much more I want to do to it. But, um, yeah, see you in the next video.